share with you the mashed potato recipe, I promise. These mashed potatoes are the creamiest, richest, most delicious. So what you need is about three pounds of potatoes, that's enough to feed my family of six, and chop them up all about the same size. Uh, I prefer the yellow potatoes because the pills aren't as thick, and I prefer potato pills, my husband doesn't, and so we compromise, and I just get the thin potato pills. What you're gonna do is put them in your Instant Pot. You guys, this recipe is seriously the easiest. And a lot of times I cook the potatoes after I've cooked the main meal, like the chicken or the beef or whatever. I, I will cook the potatoes after that while the protein is resting. Okay, now I have about one and a half cups of water. Pour that in. And I always like to put just a little bit of chicken stock in it. I think it adds to the depthness of the flavor. And so I do about a half a cup. So your total liquid is about two cups. Put the lid on and do manual for five minutes. And after five minutes, you will release the pressure. And make sure your thing set is sealing. Okay, in five minutes we'll check the potatoes out. are done. We're gonna go ahead and release the pressure. Okay, now our thing popped down. We're gonna go ahead and open it up and drain off the liquid. Be very careful, this pan is very hot. Okay, now I like to put it back in the pot and keep it on the warm because you're gonna add things to it and it'll help it uh, melt and come all together. Okay, now we're gonna mash them together. I like to use this potato masher because I feel I still like texture in my potatoes. I don't like them to be super smooth and I feel like they get kind of gloppy and gluey. So I use this one and do it by hand. Yes, that's why we exercise work our muscles so just start smashing them till you get them the texture that you want and you can add in a half of a cube of butter and get that melting as you smash it and make sure you use butter don't use margarine come on if we're gonna eat potatoes we might as well do them right now there's the consistency that I like. I'm gonna add in two ounces of cream cheese. I really like the creaminess that this cream cheese gives to the potatoes. It adds just a little something, something. So mix that all together. You guys, there's a fly that keeps buzzing. It's driving me crazy. Now that that's all, nice and melted and they're getting super creamy go ahead and add in some milk you can add in cream you can add in half and half mine's two percent milk and get them how you want i probably just added about a half a cup of milk if okay here they are so far now we're going to season them so put in some pepper. And if you recall, we kind of like our pepper around here. And sprinkle in some salt. And I also like to add in a little bit of seasoned salt. Okay, now mix that all around. I'm going to add in about two tablespoons of green onions. Stir it together. Dish it all up and enjoy. These potatoes are so good, so easy, so fast. A good side dish to put with 
any of your meals. We're gonna go and enjoy our potatoes and I hope you guys make it. Leave a comment down below if you decide to make these potatoes and let me know what you think. Give this video a thumbs up and subscribe down below. We'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.